Well, as you can see today, it's a bit lumpy, it's a bit rainy. I've got waterproofs on. So, gonna check, gonna go out and check the pots and that. Uh, see if there's some uh, mackerel in that area. I don't know how much fishing I'll do. Depends on it's supposed to get a bit sunnier, but at the moment, it's not looking good. So, I'll try to film, but obviously if it keeps raining on the lens, it's not gonna be much fun to watch. Um, it's gonna get also a bit rough for the next five days, so we'll see how we get on with the footage we got. I don't have a lot, because like I say, there's been not that many fish around. But, uh, we'll see how we get on. Foggy, it's because you're in a plastic bag at the moment. <laughs> I'll take the bag off if we get The camera is waterproof, but... And like I say, it'll, it'll fog up the lens kind of thing if it gets wet. So... Right. That's going to be filled up for now while we have this bit of bad weather. I changed my plan to fish up that way. The seas were so big down here, it's quite dangerous around this corner. So, I decided to take a bother with that. Tide of them. Another one claw cool one. He's growing a new claw though. It's this one growing a new claw. <laughs> you see some of these are probably big enough but they're females so uh, they're gonna bother because they've got smaller claws. And it's probably better to put the females back anyway. Another one, that was soft anyway. Right, we've made it out to the other mark. The one I was originally going to come to. It's still heaving a bit out here, but it's not bad now. Like I say, it eases off once you get the tide drops. Earlier on, it would have been horrendous out here.
that Spanish model, that hybrid type. This one here. Keep that one separate. So I haven't been filming because it's been raining a lot, but I have been fishing. Now I've just been fishing with mackerel, you see any I've got the mackerel. But I've pulled these ones aside because if you, I don't know if you noticed this, but these ones are blotched. Now they're blotched like a Spanish mackerel, although they've got the patterning on the back still like a regular one. This is a regular one here, you'll see that there's no blotches underneath. Any bits you might see is just scales basically on that. Um, you'll also notice the eye, or the pupil of the eye on that fish there. It's smaller than these. These eyes are much bigger. I mean, look at that one. Huge eyes on them. And the nose is a little bit more pointed. This is more shiny. There's more silver here as well. You'll notice that on the head. The head is much more silver. Also, the tail is yellow. You can see on that one quite clearly, whereas the regular one isn't. And you can see the patterning, obviously, is a lot deeper. So these are definitely different. Now, could be the Spanish, but or a hybrid, or something totally different. I'll let you know once I get onto land. Get them baited, check the baited for the crappy river. one nice hard shell on it as well got to be two two and a half pounds that one probably two and a half I'd say beauty. It's got to be the best part of four. Four pound crab, four and a half pound maybe. Absolute beauty. See that? That's a centimetre over that. There's the cat here, very, very chuffed with the catch. Um, seven Spanish mackerel. And this one here, point of reference, is our normal mackerel. You see the eyes are so much bigger on the Spanish. You see this one here, this is the normal one. The little eye, these eyes are huge. Well, I'm pleased about that. Well, I need now some bonitos. A good day, weren't 
we go, it's a much better picture.